Hey, hello everybody, this is Chaos with Chaos Esports Productions, bringing you another Bronze to Masters League series game. Today we're going to be looking at a ZVZ here on Frostliner Edition, and this is like number three as far as number of Zerg, <laughs> Zerg versus Zergs that we've had. Uh, and this was actually kind of an interesting game. I've, I uh, tested out a new build that... Uh, haven't really tried out a whole lot just because I haven't played a whole lot of ZVZs, but it actually worked pretty well, and I think it's very interesting. So we'll go ahead and talk about builds today, as I haven't done a whole lot of build guides uh, for Zerg versus Zerg. So, um, uh, we're on Frostliner Edition, which is a four-player map, and the one thing about this map that I find a little bit, you know, kind of wonky being Zerg versus Zerg, um, I never know whether or not to go ahead and, you know, take that risk and go for a hatchery first as opposed to going for a spawning pool first. So, um, obviously, I have a very low likelihood of being able to actually scout my opponent very early on. So, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and get my extractor first and go for a really, really, really fast speed just so I can get vision out there and kind of get an idea of what my opponent's doing uh, on the field. So first Overlord, as usual, is going to get sent to the right-hand side because we always send it opposite of where our natural is. Uh, I don't... That was something that uh, Sean Diapolo, uh did give to me in his Bronze to Masters League back when he was doing Wings of Liberty Bronze to Masters League, and I found it quite helpful. So uh, first Overlord's going to go over to the right-hand side, uh, and then the second Overlord, I always just go ahead and put it right over my natural just because that's kind of my tendency. Um, and then I'm going to send out a drone scout to double check and scout the upper base. Because obviously I want to scout him as early as possible and get an idea of what he's doing. So, um, getting down our spawning pool on 14 like we normally do. See, you can either go um, 14 pool, 14 extractor, or um, sometimes I'll go for a 13 uh, extractor as opposed to the 14. So, uh, it's just kind of a small little uh, tweak that I do on occasion uh, when I want my speed extra fast. And then I know I'm going to go into Baneling, so I just go ahead and take only one drone out of the gas. Um, uh, meanwhile, just going to be droning up for the most part and getting out my queen. And then this drone is going to go over and scout uh, this upper right-hand corner. And then now I want to start to get um, my overlords in position. Now... When you don't scout, you know, when you know your cross position, you know for a very, you know, a pretty decent amount of time, you're actually not going to have to worry about these overlords potentially getting picked off. So you can actually position your overlords in kind of like a streamlined fashion to see whether or not your opponent is going to be sending lings across the field. Because obviously you want to know whether or not you're going to be attacked. Um, so going to be getting up our baneling nest as well as our ling speed. Uh, and then we'll also start to think about taking our expansion now. So, uh, one thing that we noticed with our drone, uh, missed it. Um, we're going to go ahead and check out the vision. Uh, we see that he took a relatively early expansion in comparison to us, as we have yet to take ours. So, part of me is like, okay, well, we really need to do a little bit of damage and try and get something done. Um, so, we're going to put apply a little bit of pressure with the lings that we do have. Um, and go in and see if we can see anything that is just maybe a little bit different than what we're doing. So, uh, getting out lots of lings right now, and basically, uh, I first started out attacking the hatchery, and then I'm like, oh wait, he's building an evo chamber to kind of minimize the surface area here. Uh, let's go ahead and to focus that, and then I'm like, wait a second, I should be attacking his drone line. So I actually take down the spine crawler without him canceling, which is quite nice. Um, and I notice that he is building a queen, so I go ahead and send a couple lings in, to the back here so I can turn them into banelings. Fortunately enough for me, uh, he was too worried about what was going on down here with his queen uh, that he didn't notice that I had a handful of banelings back here uh, to do a little bit of damage. So uh, we're going to get in here and try and take down the second queen as quickly as possible and once those links get in, uh, we're going to try and focus it down and I don't think we quite get it. He has just enough links to get in here and the banelings are going to come in here and actually do a fair amount of damage. We get six drones, so not, not too shabby. Um, so we're pretty much, as far as units, we're pretty even on drones. I'm, I'm still down a little bit just because I've been focusing so heavily on getting out links. 
uh, as a whole bunch more lings come out. Uh, you can see that he's continuing on droning up because he knows he's lost a lot. Um, and then he's also playing super hyper defensive by getting out three and spine crawlers and, uh, you know, the Evo chambers to kind of minimize the surface area. So we're going to get in here and pick off the queen, which is a, a nice little pick off. And basically at this point, we're pretty comfortable just going ahead and continuing on the pressure. We want to see... At this point, I'm kind of like, okay, I've done a fair amount of damage economically, um, and I want to make sure that I capitalize on it. And, you know, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe I can just finish out the game. He's playing super defensive, which means he doesn't feel like he can hold on, which means if I keep applying pressure, I might be able to kind of spur him in the direction of just going ahead and calling GG. So I uh, come in here, take out the rest of his lings. Uh, as you can see in production, he doesn't have any more lings in production which is which i find a little bit odd you know he's got a couple more lings here um and you know we're pretty happy just continuing on getting our lings out because we know we, we don't see any more lings coming we're just like okay so he's got that he's either a droning or b getting more units and the likelihood of him being able to get as many units as me is slim to none because we took out both of his queens which means he doesn't have larva injects and he's basically stuck on the you know, production that he has with three base and no queen. So, uh, so we come in here, we kind of bait a couple lings, uh, and then the rest of our lings show up. So we're feeling really, really good about this. Uh, gotta get in here and try and get a nice little surround. Uh, we go ahead and morph in a few more bane lings just in case he does have more units coming out. But as we can see up in the production tab, you know, he's just now getting his queen. It's about halfway done. Um, we're going to focus down the spine crawler. Not going to really have to deal with anything, and units are just going to continue on flooding in. He knows that, you know, his production was completely hindered from me taking out his queens, and we are rocking, which is awesome for us. So, uh, yeah. Now, it was really interesting. I went back and checked this guy's stats. He's actually, uh, I think he was two in gold league uh, when I first when I played this match. So he's pretty high up there in Gold League, so we're feeling really, really good and progressing pretty quickly, actually. A lot faster than I would have uh, anticipated originally just because um, I've kind of been on and off as far as playing Zerg over the past couple weeks just because of the uh, number of casting stuff that I've had uh, with No Dice Gaming and Thunderdog. So just been absolutely crazy. Uh, and for those who came and checked out the stream this morning, we had uh, Tempo and uh, Alderis. Uh, casting the No Dice Gaming Show match. I don't know if you, any of you guys saw the Team Liquid post, but if you did uh, and checked it out, cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the cast. Um, they will be going live again at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, so feel free to check them out then. And then there is a chance that I might actually get to sneak in and cast on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, that will be on the No Dice TV channel. I will have that uh, in the descriptions if you want to check that out and click that follow button so uh, you can uh, figure out when we go live. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this small little tutorial that walked through uh, the ZVZ build that we had today. Uh, kind of an interesting build. It actually worked out really well. Uh, I was a little skeptical just because uh, I pulled this build I don't, I don't remember where I pulled it from, but it was just like, oh, this, this kind of seems interesting. We'll give it a shot. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, if you would like me to do a cast of one of your replays, maybe give you some tips on things you can improve on, or uh, just want me to cast your game, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, there's an email in the description where you can send those replays to, uh, so feel free to check that out and send me whatever you feel like sending me. Um, if you, like I said, if you're new to the channel and enjoy the video, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscriber button down in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, be greatly appreciated. I've got plenty more uh, Zerg Pro Bronze to Masters League series games as well as Protoss. I uh, haven't done a Protoss in, I think, a week or so, so I'll probably be getting on that next week. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have friends who are learning Zerg, feel free to go ahead and share with them on Facebook and Twitter. It's greatly appreciated. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next game.